Hi everyone and welcome to my May 2022 planners journal with me. So in case you missed it in my updated planners and journals for quarter one, I did get a new traveler's notebook and a new sort of life log system thing. Um, so I made this little spread in my passport size traveler's notebook to keep track of all of the things that I have to do monthly and then I just wrote down some color schemes on a sticky note that I kept in there. So without further ado, we'll jump into it. Uh, first we're setting up my monthly log for my reading journal. So uh, first I am stamping down a bunch of check boxes. Uh, I mess up terribly on the second set. It's okay, nothing I can do about it. Um, and then I take my beloved Serica Studio washi tape and I start decorating. The theme for this month is a black and white theme. I tried to go for one color for each month in my monthly reading log and I chose black and white for this month. Um, I will try to link as many of the creators that are featured in this spread um, down below. Oh boy, sorry y'all, this is the fourth time I'm doing this voiceover. Hopefully this works out. Uh, as you can tell, I am tired. sticker book which I have organized by color so when I do spreads like this by color I can just flip to a particular page and slap down a bunch of stickers all of the same color. So at the very end of my reading log insert, what I like to do with the blank pages is write down six of my favorite reads from each month. Six is an incredibly arbitrary number. I landed on six favorite reads in the month of January and I just kind of ran with it. And then I try to match the hand lettering and the color markers and pens that I use for each month to the color I use for the monthly spread. So for April, I used a sort of muted yellow. Unfortunately, all I had on me was this uh, mild liner, which is a little bit of a brighter yellow. Um, but what can you do? Um, didn't like this little mini spread bit in general, so uh, that's okay. It's not a big deal. Just uh, guess I learned my lesson. notebook. This is the standard size in blue. 
uh, that is a new charm on my notebook. So that's a misfortune from League of Legends charm that I got recently from Qui-Gon. I will try to link the creator down below. I think it goes perfectly with the dark blue and red band that I have for my Traveler notebook. And misfortune is my League of Legends name. So yeah, perfect. Um, the first thing I do in this Traveler's notebook is I set up my life log memory keeping spread so each day I write down something eventful that happened good or bad um, I've really been enjoying this process this is my third month doing it and uh, again I think I've said this before but I really enjoy having a way to use uh, some of my sticker collection that has been collecting dust and also it's just been a really good way to keep the days from blending together um, as they have been during the old pandemic. I'm flipping to the dot grid pages in this insert in case you missed it I am someone who does not like to leave a lot of blank pages in notebooks so I try to find as many ways to fill them as possible for the dot grid in the uh, inserts <laughs> pages in this notebook what I decided to do was go back to some of my favorite bullet journal spreads and I wanted to make gratitude logs for each month so um, I <laughs> did not measure this page at all in advance. I just kind of winged it, um, but thankfully the dock grid in this insert is super small. So uh, I was able to put in 31 lines for 31 days and even fit in a nice big sticker at the bottom and hopefully have some time and space to journal with all that extra space on the page at the very end of the month. And the very last thing I'm doing is setting up my bullet journal spreads. So my bullet journal is super simple. All I do is I stamp the month and the name of the month at the top of the page and then I highlight the week uh, with a highlighter. Um, and then everything that I write to do on that page must be done or hopefully will be done within that highlighted week.
just a quick overview of what I did in this video. The first thing I did was I set up my monthly reading log with a cute little black and white theme for May. Then I went to the back of this insert and I set up my favorite reads mini spread for April. And then going to my life log, I set up my monthly life log event tracker thing uh, with a cute purple pink uh, theme. And then in the dot grid portion of this notebook, I set up a gratitude log. And then I set up, last but not least, my four weeks of bullet journal spreads. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your day and a good rest of your week. I have nothing more for you. Uh, <laughs> so I'll just sign off. I'll see you later. See you next time. That's what I usually say. Okay, bye. <laughs>